Hello, everybody. I'm uh, Jérôme Herbinet from uh, the Arawa Company. We are a French partner, a gold partner of Nextcloud. And uh, today, I will uh, now I will uh, talk to you about uh, making contribution to Nextcloud and how to make it uh, even greater based on uh, one year of contribution. So I'm talking in the name of the company because we are uh, several people, several employees that contribute to Nextcloud. Uh, there are uh, a lot of ways to contribute to Nextcloud, but we are mainly contributing uh, through two axes, GitHub for uh, bug reporting and uh, uh, code, code source contribution, and also uh, translations, wordings, through uh, trans defects. So this, uh, this is what we did um, within one year. On GitHub, we've uh, created uh, open uh, 60 issues about its uh, rounded uh, value. And uh, we've got uh, 50 successful pull requests uh, in the source code of Nextcloud. And also, we did uh, more than 2,200 translations and more than uh, 600 translations reviews, I mean uh, translations made by other people. Uh, before giving you uh, uh, some tips and good practices uh, about contributing to Nextcloud, I would like to um, give you some uh, feelings that we have when we contribute to Nextcloud. So we are very proud to contribute to a project with, with, um, which is used by tens of millions of people worldwide. And also, uh, staff on Nextload is very kind. So this, uh, you have to notice that. Um, and uh, also, uh, there is a very active and kind uh, community worldwide. So uh, we love it too. And finally, uh, developments of Nextload are very, very wise we think, and organize. So this is a very, very good point. Um, now let's uh, talk about practice, uh, good practices uh, to contribute to Nextcloud through GitHub. I mean, bug reporting, feature requests, pull requests. And I'm not talking about pure technical things, but about uh, human, uh, human qualities uh, and methods. Um, first, contributors, uh, I'm talking about any contributor, uh, must have some human qualities. I mean that a human is always centered uh, in the project, in open source projects, and a uh, human aspect is very important. So every uh, contributor uh, has to be friendly and team -orient, uh, have a team-oriented spirit to work properly with other contributors and to make contribution, contri contribution uh, successful as, uh, as possible. Um, then also when you ask something on your uh, or you propose a pull request, always ask yourself if what you want to do uh, is targeting the common benefit. If it only targets your personal uh, wishes, uh, it may not be successful. So this is an important question you must ask yourself before uh, creating an issue or creating a pull request. Also be involved by giving a lot of details in uh, each one of your contributions. So uh, as you see with uh, this mem here, uh, when you uh, create an issue and just tell uh, it doesn't work, uh, don't hope your, uh, that your issue, issue will, uh, will be taken in account. Uh, finally, this is very important to follow up and close uh, issues that don't make sense anymore. I mean, if your PR or your issue is targeting a very old major version of Nextcloud, uh, for example, uh, Nextcloud uh, 18, uh, just uh, go in your issue, your PR, make, uh, and check if the, 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 the problem still occurs. 
Uh, if yes, add a comment and try to follow up uh, correctly your um, uh, contribution. If, and if it doesn't, just close it. And it will ma make things easier for other contributors when they are searching for a, an issue. And, um, you know, uh, this is easier to organize, to search inside GitHub. So uh, it's better for Nextcloud and better for other people who contribute to Nextcloud. So all this is very obvious, but you know, we are all humans and we can forget some of these uh, uh, crucial uh, things about contributing. So we, we have to note it. Now I will give you some good practices and tips about contributing to Nextcloud through Transifex. So this is a translation platform used by uh, Nextcloud for a every app of the project. And first, a very important thing, bad translations can damage the, UA, the UX, UI, and reputation of Nextcloud, even because of a, a small app, a very small app. So we have to know and to note and remind that wordings are as important as source code, features, and design. When we contribute to translations, we have to be rigorous and impartial. Rigorous, I mean that if we don't know the context in which the wording is used, just don't translate and let other contributors do the job. This is very important because uh, instead this, this will screw up the, the UI. Uh, also, please check the grammar and spelling. Uh, take the time to uh, do proofreading for each translation you, uh, you are making. This is crucial also. Uh, it uh, seems obvious, but uh, sometimes <laughs> I see mistakes. Uh, it's not often, but uh, take the time to uh, reread what you're doing in translations. Secondly, uh, we have to be impartial, I mean neutral. Uh, we all have um, personal uh, habits, personal glossary when we are talking. But we have to choose um, words and uh, sentences, uh, expressions that are used by the uh, biggest part of people and also by the biggest part of apps uh, and Nextcloud uh, workspace. So forget your personal habits. Consistency, it's a very important notion. When you have an action in a button or a notion, it must be expressed with the same words, the same sentence throughout the entire app or throughout the entire Nextcloud digital workspace. I mean, a dummy example, uh, when you have a model that, and you have a close button, if the tooltip is in one app, uh, uh, close uh, the pop-up, and uh, in other, an another, other uh, app, uh, close the model, and uh, uh, in another place, hide the pop-up, it cannot be, it's not, it's not consistent, and it's not, uh, it's bizarre for uh, users. Uh, another example is in French, we have uh, at least uh, four uh, ways to tell, to express email. And I've seen in uh, French translations, these uh, four ways to express email. And this is not consistent. We have to choose the, the one which is most used in our language. So we always have to think about it when we are contributing to translations. And last but not least, uh, prior priority. Uh, in Transifex, you have priorities uh, in projects. So we have to translate first what is the most urgent 
because Nextcloud needs it for the next uh, release of an app or ne next major version of Nextcloud, which, which will be released in a few days or weeks. So have a look at priority. This is important. So thank you for uh, listening to me. And if you have questions, uh, don't hesitate.